Hi, I'm Jeremy Cowan for IOT Now, and welcome to another in our series of quick fire interviews, this time looking at smart cities. And I want to find out a little bit about what makes them work and maybe not, uh, plus to understand uh, something about the local and regional benefits. And to do that, I'm talking to Fakan Alambia, uh, who is founder and CEO of Connexin. Welcome, Fakan. Hey Jeremy, great to be here. It's really good to have you. Well, we all talk about smart cities uh, willy-nilly, but what we don't always do is drill into what they uh, what they mean. Uh, we're talking about something that is much broader than a city. Um, how do you expect that we can create a joined up approach to smart cities and smart environments? That's a really good question, Jeremy. I think you're absolutely right. It's not just about cities, although the term is used in that way. It's actually about people and the places around them. Um, so I think in terms of having a joined up approach, I think that's critical in this. Um, so it takes top down leadership where city leaders and, and, and regional leaders need to be more aware of what these technologies can do for the, their regions and then employ that strategy from the top down and towards the organizations to enable services to work more integrated and horizontal rather than uh, as budgets typically you know uh, push vertical and siloed um, so we're working very closely with city leadership and local government le leadership teams to to drive this new way of thinking um, to create a more joined up integrated approach you've talked about several different communities there we've obviously got the public sector the private enterprise and uh, engaged and connected citizens uh, there could be different uh, requirements or different priorities for each of those groups how do we as a uh, country or as a, an industry manage that and make sure that everyone gets what they need so I think this is about focusing on the problem. So um, we need to look at what the challenges that we're looking to fix. And, you know, these challenges are big challenges. We're talking about health, mobility, uh, safety and security. And, and there's no one entity that can solve those problems. So this does naturally require an ecosystem approach where partners from multiple sectors are brought together to solve these problems. Um, we, we've recently delivered a project in Newcastle uh, and we brunt the and we bear the scars uh, from that project where well, we've learned that lesson and you know we worked there with the university the uh, large global enterprises to, to local government um, and you do need that kind of approach and I think companies like ourselves and some of the local authorities we're working with pioneering and driving this will drive then the right kind of thinking and legislation centrally to enable others to benefit from this uh, pioneering work. I guess it's fairly unusual also that uh, a company in the tech space uh, working in smart cities is led by someone who is a trained doctor. How has that shaped and informed what you're doing? So um, yeah, there is a connection there, Jeremy. Um, you know, I, I tell this to people when I speak to them because everybody asks me, uh, how did I end up from here to there? Um, as a doctor, uh, anatomy has always been a fascination for me, how things work, how things connect together. Um, and it's the same in what we're doing with Connects and how we build networks. We kind of mimic how the body works in terms of the brain and the nervous system. Um, but having that exposure to, to the front line in health uh, has shown us how important it is to digitize some of those services to ensure they're delivered in the most effective and cost, um, you know, cost effective and efficient ways. The last thing I wanted to touch on is you're based in Hull, which is a leading port city in the UK with um, excellent connections to uh, leading ports in Europe like Rotterdam. Uh, and Hull is now fully connected with Laura Wan. Is that influencing what you're doing and how you do it? Absolutely. I think uh, lots of people want to do things, but to do them requires enablement. So us building this Laura Wan infrastructure in Hull has enabled lots of these thoughts to become realities and new discussions to start. So, for example, the city in Hull is looking at becoming one of the smartest cities in the UK over the next three years. Um, and, and likewise, as is the port. So adding and creating this kind of infrastructure allows services to digitize to create more value. So if you think we can apply IoT solutions into the port over Laura one, we can create more efficiencies and throughput to drive more commerce, not just in Hull, but also the regions surrounding Hull that rely on the port uh, for, for bringing logistics and commerce to them. Furkan, it's been a real pleasure talking to you. Thank you for your time.
Thanks, Jeremy. Thank you, everyone. This has been Jeremy Cowan for IoT Now, talking to Fakan Alamjia of Connexin. And until the next video, we look forward to seeing you again then.